Good morning, everybody. This is Big Al with Safe Travel RV Upgrades, Tips, and Tricks. Today, we're going to talk about something important to everybody, and that is cooking while you're camping. I get asked this question all the time. What kind of cooking gear do I need? What's the best? Well, today we're going to evaluate a bunch of different ones, and we're going to see which works best for you. The main thing you want to do is make sure it's easy for you to use, it's easy to, uh, to assemble, and it's easy to clean up. So let's don't wait, let's get started. Let's not underestimate the power of the electric skillet. Really works well when you have hookups for electricity at campgrounds. Just remember, these things draw a lot of amperage, so make sure that you don't have an electric water heater on inside or air conditioner. Uh, you just know, know your limits on your RV when you're cooking with electric skillet. But a great way to go, it keeps all the smoke and smells outside. It's convenient and easy to use. And the old dependable toaster oven. It's compact, easy to use. Again, when you have electricity, it's perfect for cooking and toasting. Again, just remember these things draw a lot of amperage, so make sure you got enough uh, power to cook. Sometimes you have to turn off your water heater. So if you still want to cook out by the campfire, which everybody does, and you don't have one of these, I've got something to take care of that. So if you don't have a grate over your fire pit and you want to grill outside like I do, this is what I use. This is my number one go-to. I got a link right here to show you how to get one. But basically all you have to do is drive the metal rod into the ground close to your fire pit and always use a block of wood, hardwood, to do that with. If you go straight down on it, you're going to mushroom this head out and then your grill will not slide down over it. So always use a solid piece of hardwood and drive it down to the ground. And then you simply take your grate, slide it down over the top and swing it around. You can be in the heat, you can be in direct heat, you can go down and go up. This thing is awesome. What's nice about it is you can take it off, you can clean it at the campground, you get all the grease and food off of it, and put it back in your RV. You don't have to worry about bugs being attracted to it. I put a light coat of uh, spray oil on it, pack it back up, and I'm good for the next site. Then you have your traditional propane fired stove that everybody uses, which is always a standby and works absolutely fantastic. And then when it comes to kettle grills, you can't beat the traditional standard Weber grill for cooking with charcoal. All right, folks, let's bump it up a notch. Uh, today we're here with Ben camping. His friends call him Benzilla. And Ben likes to use what's called a Dutch oven. So tell us about the Dutch oven and how you use it, Ben. Good morning. Um, Dutch oven is a very versatile way of cooking. Uh, love cooking, cooking outside. Use the amount of coals to get the temperature that you want. Today we're cooking cinnamon rolls. Um, you can make stews. You can make um, roasts. Uh, it's a very versatile way of cooking. Um, a lot of people like to make homemade bread, biscuits. And today we're doing cinnamon rolls. All righty, let's have a look at those things. Mmm, those look good. Thanks, Ben. Your RV stove is another great option. It's got a vent on it, so it's great for cooking on those times when you cannot cook outside. Just let me show you something really quick. Make sure before you start cooking that you find your vent. Make sure that you release these little catches right here. So when you turn the fan on, it will actually exhaust the fumes out. And make sure that when you get ready to travel back down the road, that you close those up. All right, well, let's talk about the RV oven. Everybody says, why buy all these other appliances when you got a nice little oven right here that you can use? Well, folks, let me tell you, it looks inviting, but these things tend to burn everything on the bottom because the burner is right there. Look how close it is. To your cooking surface. People put down fireproof clay uh, tiles. They try all sorts of ways to keep from burning their food, cooking at lower temperatures. We've not really found anything that works. I'd love to just take that part out and use it for storage, 
But if you've had success using an RV oven, please post it in the comments so we can share. I'm beginning to see some manufacturers just completely eliminating this oven and just putting in a gas cooktop and then adding a convection microwave. The way this works is it uses an additional uh, heating element and a fan to circulate hot air around the food to bake it. We don't really use it that much for that, but uh, if you have experience using it and you love it, please let us know in the comments below. A, a little tip for you here, you can uh, separate that platter from the turner down here with some kind of a padding and it'll really quieten that ride down while you're going down the road. This video would not be complete if we didn't mention the 17 inch Blackstone griddle. It's made from cold rolled steel, so it does require a lot of maintenance to keep the surface from rusting. But it's great for cooking for large parties. It's great for breakfast. It's great for making pizzas. It's great for making fajitas for a large group. These warmers and covers, you can easily make yourself. You don't have to order them or buy them. Just raid your kitchen and drill some holes with some wooden handles and you're good to go. This one here is what I use for doing pizzas. It's a pie plate, got a wooden handle. It's a nice, versatile, heavy little unit. And last but not least is the portable propane grill. Uh, this thing is great. It's easy to transport. It's easy to cook on. The only issue is it can be a little difficult to keep clean because of the grease that gets down to the bottom of it there. Uh, if you do store this in your RV, you need to make sure it's in a, some kind of sealed container because I guarantee you, folks, it will attract ants. So just keep that in mind. But it's a nice little grill. And <laughs> Yeah, that reminds me. Get your kids and your grandkids involved in cooking when you're camping. It's all part of the experience, and they'll have some great memories. Now, the way I cook with this is I use reusable one-pound propane tanks. This comes from flameking.com. Uh, I bought two of those, and I bought a valve to refill it off a 20-pound tank. They're safe. They're much better than using the uh, green disposable tanks. It's good for the environment. And it's much safer. Let's change gears for a minute and talk about coffee. Everybody loves coffee. So if you're boondocking at a Walmart, Cracker Barrel, or at a campground with no power, you got to have one of these, an old-fashioned percolator. You can use it outside over the fire. You can do a Bunsen burner type thing. Or you just do it in here on your gas stove top. It makes great coffee. Okay, that ends our demonstration of, of uh, ways to cook outdoors while you're camping. Uh, just find your favorite and have a good time. And subscribe and like because our next video is going to be awesome. So until I see you next time, safe travel, everybody.